So guys, as we were expected, right before the actual meeting, things will get crazy. So it begins. AMC faces class action request to delay the March voting for the conversion of the ape. Someone is not happy about it. Things are very complicated and I want you to focus very closely and follow up with me, okay? So AMC is facing legal action seeking to delay its upcoming vote on converting apes into AMC. The Allegheny Country Employees Retirement System is pursuing a class action complaint in Delaware's court against AMC and its board members, including CEO Adam Aaron, seeking a temporary restraining order against a planned March 14 conversion vote. So according to the plaintiffs, AMC and its board members are accused of violating Delaware general corporation law. This action challenges a course of a complex and disloyal corporate engineering by defendants described by AMC's chief executive officer and other board members. They're saying that they devised to achieve a simple aim, essentially changing the voting power of AMC Class A stockholders in order to force them through the approval of proposed dilutive share count increase and those stockholders repeatedly had rebuffed and were not willing to support essentially they saying that investors in mc so many times mentioned that they don't want to see more dilution they don't want to see more shares either apes or amc now they're assuming that the vote will most likely pass this is what i assume as well because the setup in the media feels this way all the media is saying that AMC is on the right path. AMC will be converting APE. AMC will be uh, reverse stock splitting, right? Feels like that end result will be for all of the agenda. This is why I assume that the people in this retirement fund are thinking the same way. And most likely they don't like it. And they don't want to see reverse stock split, you know, reduction of the shares. They don't want to see ape converted into amc they want to keep them separate because we all remember if one is approved everything else will be approved in order for the whole agenda to pass on the meeting so they realize that there is no selective one winner and others losers this is why guys i assume that they don't want to see ape and amc conversion because this automatically will mean that agenda will allow AMC to issue more AMC shares, agenda will allow AMC to issue more apes, agenda will allow AMC actually to reverse stock split. Uh, and this is why it's happening over here. This is for the first time I think about it. I don't know why and how this had a correlation between the price action today. Uh, you saw ape, right? Ape, major sell off in the ape. This was the reason for it. Because if something like this actually happens, so the people who purchase ape with an idea to convert and profit from the from the arbitrage are currently in a very negative situation because if there is certain restra restraint order against particular action from AMC, Adam and board members, they can't do nothing about it. This most likely will fail off the agenda. Adam Aaron didn't say nothing. Probably he's, he's consulting with uh, his lawyers and they will come up with something. That's for sure. Because like I mentioned, guys, we all agree that it won't be smooth until the shareholder meeting. Most likely we're going to see even more and different attacks around the company and around the stock as well. But if this actually is a proof in court, uh, I don't know. Might be a certain delay, first of all, on the meeting. And then maybe additional delay on the agenda. This is crazy. This is not coming on the right time, guys. So let me know in the comment section what are the real intentions behind this and what is the goal behind it uh, i'm having a hard time following up with this so let me know if you guys know something more about this yeah.